we are logged in to MindTap and we are in Working Papers 1-2, Work Together, on page 17 in your textbook. And it looks like this. And it gives you the question um, set kind of up here, all the transactions that happen. It didn't give you any amounts because it doesn't really matter at that point or dates. It just gives you transaction numbers and some really to the point words. And it says for each transaction, enter a plus sign in the appropriate column if the account classification, asset liability, liability or owner's equity is increased. And then enter a minus if it's decreased. And it's just doing the classifications. It's not doing the accounts. So again, our accounts are cash, supplies, prepaid insurance, accounts receivable that are assets, accounts payable is a liability, and then the capital account for the owner is the owner's equity account. It says to do a, both a plus and a minus sign if two assets, for instance, are affected. One goes up, one goes down. You'll put both of those in there. <coughs> so the first transaction, it said we bought supplies on account. So I'm going to kind of go slow here so that you're sure you're with me. So one account that's affected is supplies. Supplies is an asset. Since I bought them, they went up. I got some more supplies. So an asset went up. And then it says on account. Well, I know my choices are either accounts receivable or accounts payable if it says on account. Well, since I bought something, I'm going to pay. So it's accounts payable. So accounts payable is a liability. And I bought something on account, so now I owe more money to that vendor or that um, creditor. So it went up. I owe them more money now. And I know that if I look at my equal sign here, I have a plus on that side and a plus on that side, so I know I'm good. Okay. The second one says I received cash from the owner as a investment. So again, if I look at received cash, that tells me the account that's affected is cash. Cash is an asset. An asset is going up because I received cash. I'm getting more of it. So that's up for cash. And then from the owner as an investment, as soon as I see owner and investment, I know that the account is capital, which is an owner's equity account. And I know that it is going up because the owner now has more of a claim to the assets of the business. So it is going up. And if I were doing this in a lot of problems, it's going to make you say why it went up. And it went up because of an investment, okay, by the owner. Again, do I still equal? Yes, plus equals plus. Third one. Pay cash for insurance. So, paid cash. The account is cash. And cash is an asset. And it is an asset that is going down because I paid cash. Okay. Then it says it was for insurance. Well, the name of the account is called prepaid insurance. Prepaid insurance is also an asset. Prepaid insurance is going up because I just paid to get a policy, so now I have insurance. So it is going up. A minus and a plus. And then I check to make sure I'm equal still. And I have a plus and minus which negate each other, so zero on that side, zero on that side. I'm still good. The fourth one says paid cash on account. Paid cash, what account? Cash. Cash is an asset. I paid it, so it's going down. When I pay cash, it's going down. So down on an asset. 
and then the words say on account. So if it says on account, I know it is either accounts receivable or accounts payable. Well, since I'm paying, it's related to accounts payable, which is a liability. And since I'm paying on account, I owed them a lot of money, and now I'm paying them some, I owe them less, so it went down. That is a minus. And again, minus equals minus, so I know that I am good. So always check that to make sure that you're still equal when this is happening. And you've got to really start to get good at zeroing on the words that matter. So I see supplies, I know it's the account supplies. I see insurance, I know it's the account prepaid insurance. I see cash, I know it's the account cash. I see the owner investing, I know it's capital. I see the word on account and I say, ooh, that's harder, I need to think a second. That's either accounts receivable or payable. And if I bought something or paid, bought and paid, it's accounts payable. Okay, if it's sell and receive, it's accounts receivable. So that's kind of how your mind has to start to process these things right now. I have to be able to identify the account first. Then I have to classify that account. And again, classifying says, is it an asset, a liability, or owner's equity? And that's not incredibly crucial this chapter, but next chapter when we start to figure out what debit and credit are, if you do not know the classification, you are not going to get debits and credits, which is the basis of accounting. So make sure you classify the accounts. Assets, we own them. Liabilities, we owe them. Owner's equity is the difference and what the owner's claim is to the asset. So assets minus liabilities is what owner's equity is. Okay, so again, if you want to work on the on your own problem to practice, I would do that. If not, you can go on to the application problem and that will be graded. If you need assistance or help, you should talk to one of your teachers who can help you, including myself, and I can go through other transactions with you until you get this down pat because you have to know it for the future.